Hey everyone, the platform that I'm showing you right now is called 365. It's a platform that allows you to host virtual tours and virtual events that you can use uh, basically for any on-site event that we've been doing that we want to convert into something into a virtual or hybrid event we're in uh, it can be fully virtual so that everyone wherever they are in the world can attend your virtual tour or virtual event or a hybrid wherein you have a on-site limited face-to-face -face event and then most of your or some of your participants will be accessing the event online okay so this gives immersion and a different uh, perspective on how you conduct online events so this uh, right now we are on the lobby this is the place where you can welcome your participants you can also show banners or video from your sponsors you can have avatars here that can uh, talk or speak uh, speak and tell something to your viewers. Welcome to 365 virtual event. To start or stop the full screen. Okay, you can also have hot links here going to your different rooms, like your auditoriums, your different meeting rooms, and say you are, you are using this for ex exhibit, you can create an exhibit hall, which I'll be showing you later. And then you can create different booths. So it, the navigation is located on the top left. And we also have some tools here that your participants can use. So just imagine, say you want to create trade show conferences, um, like a job uh, hiring that is virtual or a product launch. Uh, for tours, they can this can be used for real estate, car showroom. Okay, so there there are a lot of uh, possible applications for this platform. So let's go to the exhibit hall. So we created an exhibit hall here, wherein we can show different boots of your exhibitors, and then an info box on the on, on the bottom. So you can add the the boots here. And then some information and video if you want to. Then your participants can select a boot. And he'll be landed to that boot. So we can add say an um, avatar. Let me just close this first. We're on this boot to welcome your guest. Who wonder is an e-learning authoring tool, LMS. Okay. So say this is a boot for a specific company. So say you have a food fair or a gadget fair. So you can add the... Uh, boots for your exhibitors or your sponsors and then you can also hot link to a specific video Me wonder. okay you can also link to the to the website of the of this company there's also a information uh, section here wherein you can the the company can add their information uh, their video you can expand this and then if there, there's a brochure or a file that you want uh, participants to read or to download you can do it here and then say you you can use this as a as a lead capture so visitors can sign up you can also show your offerings and then we can also say your exhibit is say your uh, the companies or the the organization that have different boots they they can chat or they can meet online with the uh, interested users or interested participants and then they can conduct uh, online meeting via supported platforms like Jitsi, Zoom and Google Meet or uh, they can show their if they have a live webinar they can allow the, the participants to join okay Participants have also the ability to chat and ask questions to the exhibitors. They just click the chat. So right now, uh, what we're using is uh, Facebook chat. But uh, anything that can be embedded, uh, a chat program can also be supported here. 
Okay, so let's go to the, we can also navigate to different sections using the bottom right navigation. Okay, you can click on this section. Like right now we are on different uh, booth. So say this is another company that has been uh, joining the online event. Okay, so they have a different info information, so it can reflect here. Okay. Okay, say the user want to chat or ask questions about this company. So the, the company will directly uh, get that inquiry. Then they can chat and then they can uh, support or entertain the, any inquiries from the user. Okay, so pretty neat, right? Okay, so aside from uh, boots, we can also create some auditoriums or breakout rooms meeting rooms let me show you this one this one is for a protected or a password protected uh, room with recorded video say the scenario is there this is a conference and then you after the live talks you can you want to provide on-demand access to the previous videos of your speakers so you can either password protect it or make it publicly available. And then we can have like an auditorium type of uh, room. Hi everyone. And then users, you can embed like a YouTube playlist or upload the video within the 365 platform. So basically any content that is online that is uh, embeddable can be added here. Or like I said, you can also upload it here inside the platform. So say this is the videos of the speakers that have talked within the event or the previous event. So you, your users can access recorded uh, videos. Okay, you get the point. And then you can also support live video. Say you have an event and then you're streaming it on YouTube or on your Facebook Live, Twitch, any streaming platform that uh, also has a public link and can be accessed by the public, you can also embed it here. So you just the users will just click these links. It supports, um, like I said, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and other streaming or live uh, video platforms. And then you can also allow like if say you want your participants to attend a live talk live webinar or a live meeting so you can do that so there are supported platforms for example this one jitsi it's embeddable within the the 365 platform itself so like for this room it has a meeting uh, prompt that the user can join and then on the side you can show sponsor banners or images several so example and a join so I'm in the meeting so you can give the ability for your participants to talk to each other to ask questions with the host something like that so this supports video voice and chat type of meetings okay and then we also have support for like zoom however for zoom uh, you add your zoom link and then once the participants click on this one it will open the meeting link on a new tab or on their zoom app and then you can uh, launch your me either a meeting or a webinar via zoom same with google meet okay so this can be like a, a dedicated meeting for certain participants or for groups provided that you give them access there's also an ability for you to create activity rooms welcome to our activity room here we can play various games like 360 interactive games 2d games multiplayer and single games and puzzle games 
So we can create uh, all the assets for you, the rooms, the lobbies, the booths, etc. Even the, the interactive elements like the games, we can develop it for you. Uh, because uh, 365 can be used uh, like for inter immersive experiences for marketing even for e-learning so th those are the practical uses of 365 aside from doing a virtual event or virtual tour so it's for really for an immersive experience and then hi welcome to our online shop if you have like an online shop you can set it up here like a, to have a virtual uh, boot boutique or virtual shop and then have an avatar with pre-recorded recorded voice over and then the products can be clicked for to learn or get more details and then you can link this it to either your current e-commerce website or we can also set up an e-commerce site for you pretty neat right okay so that's uh, the the feature of 365 and then we also have some tools here let me just go back to the lobby okay so we're in the lobby and then there's also a 3d view so your users can see a top view or a easier navigation of the different sections then they can click on specific section Okay, and then you can also enter the presentation mode, which give the user like a tour, an overview or a tour. Let me just um, turn on the audio. Okay, for those that are interested, I'll be posting the link on the description so you can check it out. And before we go, uh, let me just show you the fly-in animation. So as soon as I click this one, we'll go to like a walk-in or a fly-in as if we're going inside the building or the to the where the event is being uh, conducted. And then it will go to the auto-presentation mode and then you can escape welcome to or, 365 virtual event to start or stop the full screen presentation this, modes uh, the stop presentation mode so you can go to the explore mode and explore the different sections okay so i hope you like this one uh, thank you and see you on the next video bye